Part 3 Jenkins plugins. Fundamental concept within Jenkins is its plugin module capability. There's a plugin module to help you automate just about any task you need to automate. A full list of these modules can be found on the Jenkins website under their, their plugins section and They're broken down into a number of different areas or categories, if you like, by topic. So there's source code management plugins. So this will give Jenkins the capability to deal with tools like Git, Maven, um, GitHub, CVS. Although CVS actually is supported straight out of the box with Jenkins. There's build triggers. So these are events that Jenkins might want to monitor and then trigger a build or an automation job from. There's cluster management. So cluster management is to do with nodes and external systems that you might want to run these builds on and monitor from your main Jenkins server. So if we go back to our Jenkins install, on our setup you'll find the Jenkins plugins under the manage Jenkins area again manage plugins and you get four tabs the updates so these are plugins you already have that need updating you have what's available a list of what's installed and then an advanced tab as well now for the purpose of our course and this module we're going to be looking at four plugins that is the EC2 Amazon plugin that we'll use to connect to our AWS account and let Jenkins instantiate and start up instances in our cloud account. We'll look at the SSH plugin. This is the plugin that allows us to communicate with our Unix Ubuntu machine over the SSH protocol. The Git plugin, so the application we're running that we're going to be testing and installing is available on GitHub and there is a plugin for Jenkins that allows us to connect to GitHub, download that source and then we can do the build, the install and the run-up of the app. The fourth plugin we'll look at is post build tasks. These allow us to configure Jenkins so that it will run tasks once the build has completed. So these might be checks, they might be log file monitoring, various tasks we can configure then just to make sure that everything's running correctly. So in module 4 then we'll look at how to install these plugins and we'll take each one in turn Amazon EC2, the SSH, Git and the post build tasks and install those in our Jenkins setup. <laughs>